So I've been asked for a quick lesson on learning objective 2.2, which is about making graphs of momentum versus time in situations where the force is constant. So if, uh, say for example, I have a, a ball flying through the air under the constant weight of gravity, and we look at the x and y components of momentum, you know dp dt as a vector is going to be equal to the weight. But let's look at the x and y components. dpx dt is going to be equal to the x component of the weight, which of course is 0. And dpy dt will be equal to the y component of the weight, which is going to be minus mg. Now, if I go ahead and uh, graph that, so px as a function of time, well, dpx dt is 0, that means the slope is 0, so whatever px is, it's going to be a constant in time, right? And of course, dpy dt, let's see if I can get that guy, it's uh, negative, so negative mg, dpy dt is the slope of py versus t, so let's go ahead and graph the y component of momentum versus the time. It starts big and gets more negative with time. So that's really it. In the case of the direction in which the momentum is constant, px is just a constant, right? In the direction in which the momentum is changing in the y direction, um, you can see that the momentum as a function of time has a constant negative slope consistent with a constant negative dp y dt. So that's a straight line going down. That's really all there is to it. The other part of this learning objective is graphing position versus time. Of course, to get position versus time, it helps to look at velocity versus time. The good news is the velocity in the x direction, in this example, is constant because the momentum is constant in the x direction. So the velocity and momentum graphs actually uh, are very similar to each other since the momentum and the velocity are just uh, related by multiplying or dividing by the mass. So the velocity in the y direction is just the y momentum divided by the mass. The velocity in the x direction is just the x momentum divided by the mass. Now the displacement is the area under the velocity versus time graph. So what that means is if I were going to graph position as a function of time in the x direction, the change in the position is just the area under the velocity versus time graph. So if I, if I pick some particular time, say I pick this time, and I ask what's the position, well it's going to be equal, if I start at x equals 0, uh, it's going to be equal to that area. So it'll be some position like that. Um, if I go a little bit later in time, of course, the area is going to be bigger, and so the position is going to go up. The area under the velocity versus time graph is going to just be proportional to the time. So that thing is just going to go up at a constant rate. The slope <coughs> of the position versus time graph is going to be equal to the velocity. So the slope of this guy, right here, slope, is going to be equal to the value of the x component of velocity. <clears throat> okay, what about in the y direction? Well, in the y direction, it's a little more complicated because you can see the slope of the velocity versus time graph is negative, and the area is going to be uh, the area under a constant slope straight line like that is going to be some kind of quadratic. If you integrate a linear function, you get a quadratic function. And of course, since this thing has a negative slope, it's going to be a downward pointing quadratic. So that would mean the y position is going to start with a large positive slope. The slope is going to go to zero when the velocity goes to zero. And then the slope is going to become negative. So uh, y versus time graph is going to be some kind of a quadratic function. Um, the things to look for are when the velocity in the y direction is positive, then the uh, slope 
of the y graph is positive. When this value is positive, the slope is positive. When this value is zero, the slope is zero. On the other hand, this value is constant in the x direction, so the slope of the x versus time is constant. Those are the things you need to pay attention to.